If you know my wife, you know she's an absolutely amazing cook. Now, she has a brand new cookbook coming out called Trisha's Kitchen. She's going to share a couple recipes uh, from the new book. One of them, which I particularly love because your mama inspired it. You want to tell me about it? Yeah, this is, um, this is blueberry pancake mm. cake. Um, it's basically a pancake on steroids, and we're gonna make. You're gonna get to taste that in a minute. Oh you're gonna you're goodness. gonna actually make this along with me. And oh, I am. Yeah, you're gonna do what I do. Oh, it's not gonna be good. Okay. So we've got some oil and butter that is has melted here in our little skillet. We're gonna cook this in a skillet. We got flour here, so put your flour in one bowl. All of it. All of it. I love Two this. cups. This is brown sugar. Throw that in. <laughs> yep. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> really okay. Baking powder. Oh, baking powder. Mm-hmm. Nice. And some salt. <laughs> I thought this was hard. This is easy. <laughs> well, if I had you measuring out my ingredients at home, it'd go a lot faster. Now stir it together with okay. your little spatula. There you go. Nice. And then once that gets stirred together, put the blueberries in the dry mixture. And you know why you do that? Why? Because you ever made a cake and all the fruit is at the bottom of it? Oh, my God, all the time. <laughs> Not you, America. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you put the fruit, put the blueberries in the flour, It'll, it'll hold on and they won't all sink to the bottom. Oh, that's and it smart. helps them stay um, evenly distributed in that's the cake. That's cool. So that's the first part. And then once you got that done, now we're going to put the wet ingredients together. So okay. I put the eggs in first and we're going to throw in a little bit of vanilla. That's this thing? Vanilla extract. Nice. And two cups of buttermilk. <laughs> I'm cooking. You're do you are. I am doing great. <laughs> all right, this is the hard part. Now take your skillet, pour this into. Wet mixture, flip okay. it over. It's a little bit warm. Don't it is it. a little bit warm. You're fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Stir that in, and then we're going to stir the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, okay? Oh, really? So, yeah, you got this. Is that good? That's good. And then it pours back into the skillet. When do we put the M&Ms in? <laughs> well, whenever Mine's you gonna want. Mine's going to have M&Ms. <laughs> I'm doing this quickly, but... It bakes for about 35 to 40 minutes, and then, it, and then it turns out, and you can either leave it in the skillet and serve it, or you can put it on a pretty platter, and then I drizzle a little bit of maple syrup over. That's nice. That's nice, right? Is it time to eat yet? Yeah, you can taste it. It's got a little cinnamon in it. Mmm, man. So this is, like, this is like breakfast at our house. This is how you would have a pancake. Mine turned out fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep moving. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, down here, I'll just go past this cookbook. Um, that was good, it's really good. So these are tartlets, and these are really good for a party. Yes. And then they're Keep really talking. good the next day. Uh -huh. for, <laughs> they're really good the next day for like room temperature or warm. This is just refrigerated pie dough. I like to do stuff that's easy. Um, so we, we've just cut them out in circles. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some ricotta cheese, Take your spatula. What's gonna, ricotta? This gonna, thing? Yeah, that's cheese. That's ricotta cheese. Yep. We're gonna mix it together with some Parmesan cheese. Next one in line. I like it. You just put it. You just, well, don't put it all in there. Oh. Some pepper. No, put the. the you're, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> some pepper, pepper and an egg yolk. And do we mix want the egg together. yolk to break again? Yep. You want the egg yolk to break? There you go. <laughs> it's like it broke when it hit right there. <laughs> all right, and then that's our mixture that goes on the bottom. All right, hey, I'm good with doing? it. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Man, that's good. <laughs> then we're gonna what are we take, making? We're making tartlets. Okay. We're gonna take a little, we're gonna do this together. Okay. I feel like you're not really paying attention. No, I'm with you, 100%. <laughs> we're gonna take a little spoonful and go right in the center. Oh, a spoon. And spread it around, but don't, but leave about a quarter inch edge. You're gonna be judged on this later. Okay. Not really. We'll just do a couple of them. You got it. Mine's pretty. Yours is very pretty. Uh huh. All right, and then we're gonna take some tomatoes, go over the top with a few tomatoes, see what it's supposed okay. to look like. Just a couple of tomatoes that we've sliced. Yes. This is a little bit of picked thyme, just a nice little flavor. That's nice. And a little drizzle of olive oil. Oh, just a drizzle. Just like that. Drizzle. Yep. That's nice. Last step before yes. we make Twitch taste one is you fold these over mm -hmm. to the center a little bit, leaving an edge so you can see it. Okay. You can do it with your hands, you can, or you can take a fork and crimp it to make it cute, okay. like the Ellen Show has done, if you want. Sure. And then we just bake them. Really? And it's, it's That's simple. It. And can they're they really, turn out like this? They turn out just like that. Would you like to try one, Twitch? Would you like to try one? Can I grab one? Yeah. You may grab one. I'm gonna try one, please. 
You're not gonna grab a lot of them, are you? No, I'm just gonna grab <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. The new cookbook, yeah. Trisha's Kitchen, is not out until September 28th, but we want everyone in the audience to be the first ones to get it. You're all getting a copy. We'll be right back.